Today on Nation, a window cleaners podcast, we're talking all about add-ons. The things you do that aren't your main service, that make you a lot of money and are pretty awesome. So if you're a window cleaner or heck, just want to hang out, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Everyone, if it's your first time here, have a look around. It's a very long running, amazing show. Emmy nominated. Oh, I mean, not officially nominated, but probably would be if they were paying attention. It's a good show. Go back, watch, listen, everything. If you're here for the billionth time or you've listened to them all, thank you so much. Thank you so much, by the way, to every one of you who let me put your orders in and order from me and let me be your rep literally how I make money. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll get into that later. But today we're talking about add-ons. And add-ons as a whole are really good. Now, I am a very big fan of being a, don't be a jack of all trades and a master of none. So like, don't do like, and some of you do, and every time I say this, everybody message me, and well, that's what I do, and it's cool if you do it. But in my opinion, don't do like things outside of the wheelhouse. If you're external cleaning or exterior cleaning, stick to that. Don't do like dog poop removal or like painting or like something else, because what ends up happening is is that if you do too many things, they're like, well. They do window cleaning, pressure washing, lawn care, painting, you know, like the list is big. They don't go, ooh, they also do this. I bet they're really good at that. They don't. They don't. It doesn't actually open up the pool of things. It makes you just less of a expert on certain things. Okay. With that being said, there are some add-ons that I do like. Now, if you could put them in your wheelhouse, right? Like in that like core, so it makes sense. Like if you do window cleaning, you, you should do pressure washing. Thousand percent think every single window cleaner should do pressure washing. They're different services, absolutely. Different equipment, absolutely. But they pair so well together. Like if you're doing a house wash, you have to do the windows after the house wash, like exterior services, right? And it kind of falls under that umbrella for me. I like from the roof, to the concrete, everything down. And today we're gonna to talk about five of them that I really like. And now the five here are going to be in the wheelhouse, but a little on the outside. You know that I like all the other stuff, you know, um, inside windows, outside windows, like I, I like all that add-on. But let's talk about the add-ons that are just on the outside fringe of that, but work extremely well. And I'll start by one of my biggest uh, PTSD things uh, in all of my life, and it's snow removal. If you're in a cold area, you you understand. But snow removal is actually a pretty good one. Now, you're Mother Nature's whipping boy, so you have to kind of do the snow when it snows. And there is no kind of lenient, like if you know something happens, your window cleaning, like, oh, I gotta get the movie to next week. You can't do that with snow. So snow takes precedent over everything, and you don't know when the snow stops or when it starts or when you need to go out and all that stuff, but it's extremely easy. Think about this. If you're in an area with snow, you have customers already. It's going to snow everywhere, including on those customers' place. You already have trucks. You already have staff. You already have everything. Why not do snow removal in the winter? This one is not in our wheelhouse as far as cleaning. But the reason this one works is because in a cold climate, especially you people who know Minnesota, Wisconsin, a lot of contractors in the winter do snow removal. That's where the, the, the contractors come. So in people's heads, it absolutely works. They just understand it. Now, if you're in Florida, you're like, well, that's totally different. It is, but snow is only in the winter, and that's where you see your lawn care, roofers, all those guys are doing snow. So snow really, really works. And the the beauty of all these add-ons is that you have customers who like you, love you, trust you, have bought from you. They just like you. You've already gotten through the hard part. You've already gotten through the, um, you know, here's why you should trust us phase. They're already into you. 
So adding those people on is really, really good. And a lot of them, if they're paying to have their windows done, may be also doing uh, snow. And here's the thing. A lot of you think it's a plow truck thing. And plow trucks would be for like parking lots. If you're doing commercial stuff, yes, plow trucks are very, very valuable. All of our trucks, not all, I'm sorry. Most of our trucks had uh, plows on them. But understand that if it's a driveway or sidewalks or anything, you can throw a couple snowblowers in the back of any of your trucks. No plow, no nothing. Drive around, pop the snowblower off. Single stage snowblower, maybe dual stage in case it gets really, really bad. That's it. Two guys in a truck with snowblowers. One guy in a truck with snowblower. It just works really, really well. So it's something to think about. And I'll tell you in pricing on snow varies. There's you know, um, there is uh, snowfall, there is salting if people want it. Um, there's a lot of different things. When you get into snow, doing a driveway price, say it's $40, $50, whatever your typical, you know, two car deep, one, uh, two car deep, two car wide driveway and sidewalk, right? Getting in that area is really kind of a good spot. You can do just like windows, anything up and down and all that fun stuff. But all you're trying to do in snow is get the snow off so that people aren't stuck in driveways. They can get out. They can walk. There's nobody slipping. Do that and don't worry about having them. Again, doing that like, you know, 101% perfect, you know, dry side. Well, like it's not about that. It's like gutter cleaning where you're trying to make sure that the gutters don't clog. You're not trying to make sure you can eat out of the gutters right? Snow removal is a great one. And because it pairs well, we're not really cleaning windows in the winter. We have the time to do snow. But the problem ends up being is that if you're doing seasonal layoffs, do you lay the people off? And then if it snows, bring them off of layoff again? Because if you do that, then they have a kind of a cool down period before they can claim again. It's like a whole thing. So it's like keeping some of your staff off. If you have staff in general, something to think about. If it's just you, you're already looking for stuff to do. Maybe it's a way to bring in a little bit of income in the winter. Snow removal is a great one. And a snowblower, some fuel. You already got the rest of it. Customers, truck, people. Works really, really well. Uh, another one that works really well that isn't connected to windows but is cleaning is gutters. Gutter cleaning. And we just talked about that a second ago. But one of the things I really like with gutter cleaning is that it's gross. Like gutters smell like sewage all the time. They're just, they're gross. They're mucky. That black, like rich soil, liquid water stuff stains everything it touches. They're gross. But guess what? The worse something is for someone to do, the more willing they're paying, the more willing they are to pay to have it done and to pay but more, better. So one of the things with gutter cleaning, and I see people all do, oh, we do $99. You can do... A $249 minimum, $299 minimum for gutters. Like gutters aren't great. If they want you to do them, that's nothing. You're going to scoop bag and remove the debris. If you're using a gutter vac, lucky you. Uh, gutter vacs are amazing. Uh, we sell them and we sell tons of them every year. Carbon fiber tube, they're really good. But anyway, but if you're doing that, the customer knows that if their gutters are not maintained, you're gonna get water damage. It's a whole big thing, it really is. And on top of that, in any type of damage situation, it comes into insurance and it becomes a lot more expensive. So you're already there, you already have ladders. They don't wanna get on ladders. They're not doing their windows. Gutter cleaning's a great way to start, but have a minimum. Because there's some super easy one story that somebody's going, oh, can you do this? I absolutely can, it just falls at our minimum. Oh, that's more than I thought. I do apologize, you know, as far as our minimum. But we do scoop, bag, remove, debris, make sure everything's looking good. You know, um, it's not something that maybe in your area, if you got a lot of trees, you have to do it regularly. But if you do have a lot of trees, it's something that's really nice. We can get you in a schedule, rotate every year. You don't have to worry about it anymore. We'll do it at the same time we're doing your windows in the fall or whatever. Really kind of a good add-on. The, the minimum... Truck minimum, I think you should have a truck minimum on everything. It's an item minimum because I don't want to do gutters. Neither, I don't want my techs to go clean gutters and then go in somebody's fancy million dollar house. 
It's just gross. It's a weird thing. So it's like, well, for that, yes, we'll do it, but I want to charge more for it. Now, if you're out there doing gutter cleaning for 99 bucks, cool. Um, people are willing to pay way more than that. And um, gutter cleaning, when you look at how much you're making per hour, is very, very good. We do a bunch of uh, larger complexes too. And there's just not a lot in there, but they have to do it to make sure that it's upkept. So gutter clean is a great one. You already have the ladders, possibly. Um, you aren't scared to get up there. A lot of times, you're cleaning windows the same time as the gutters. It works really, really well. And remember, our seasons are spring and fall. That's like, you know, if you're doing dentist clothes, which golly, I hope you are. But that's spring and fall. Fall is when leaves come down and it doesn't have to get done before the leaves all fall. That's one thing that the customer always thinks like, oh, I'm waiting for the leaves to fall. Well, it's not about getting all of those leaves out. It's about the leaves that are still stuck in there. Normal leaves fall in gutters all the time, all the time, but they don't clog, they flush through. But once they get more and more and more, they get built up and then all of a sudden you get clogging and that's where the problem is. So you can do gutter cleaning before the leaves fall. Absolutely, because those leaves are not going to cause a problem in one year, usually. But that's sometimes hard to talk to customers about. But gutter cleaning is a great one. It is a gross, dirty service that people don't want to do, so it's a very easy sell for you. And another service in the exterior cleaning space is going to be roof cleaning. Now, roof cleaning is its own thing altogether. Roof cleaning is gonna require a 12 volt pump, um, just like a diaphragm pump. Uh, we always based all of our systems onto a little tank, like a 50 gallon tank or whatever it was. Um, and then the pump pumps through a hose that has a sprayer. And basically you go up on the roof or to the roof edge, however. If you're like, I never walk on roofs, you're gonna die, sure. Tell me that, but sometimes you walk on the roof. In roof cleaning, all you're doing is literally like watering the roof. That's it, you're just covering every square inch with your solution. If the solution's mixed up, by the way, solution if you wanna know is SH, sodium hypochlorite, and a 12 and a half percent is the, mi like that's the concentration. So if you buy bleach off the shelf, it's like 6%, that's even weak weaker than six because it's been sitting there. But if you're going to a chemical supplier, which you should, you're going to get 12 and a half percent. It's what they consider it. And you're going to mix that with water. Now, the mix with water does not, you don't take a 12 and a half percent, mix it with water, and now it's a six because you mixed it. That, that, that's not, it's still 12 and a half percent in that mix, right? It's not a percentage of how much stuff is in the water. It's, it's the strength kind of thing. But the thing is, is that when you mix it, to start with roofs, do a 12.5%, 50-50 with water, and then surfactant. Surfactant's like a sticky part of a soap. We sell it, it's cliche, it's super cheap. You put just a couple ounces per gallon. That's it, that's what you make. You take that and you spray it on a roof. And you spray it on light enough that it's not dripping and just running off into the gutters and heavy enough that it coats everything. And that turns roofs, darkened roofs, streaks, all of that back to brilliantly amazing shingles. It's very, very fantastic. If, especially if you're doing just the algae part, not moss. Moss takes a little bit, turns white, and then there's like these mushroom looking things on your roof. And then you gotta wait for those to kind of die off and blow off. But the black streaks, which is most of the roofs, depending on where you are, black streaks come off right away. When you leave the job, they're gone. That's how fast it is. The thing is, is that you leave it up there. Do not rinse. Leave it up. And then when it rains, it'll rinse off any residual salts and things. Now, I always tell people always for the next week, you need to water. Uh, water everything around the house starting right now. Do that once or twice a day when you think of it. And then really saturate by the gutters. Because when it rains, everything comes out the gutters. And we want to have it already be saturated with water so it dilutes and all that stuff. And that's it. That's absolutely that simple. The thing with roof cleaning 
And if you're already doing this, you know, roof cleaning is probably, I think in everything, I'd say confidently, the highest paying per hour gig that we do. And you're like, well, why wouldn't I do just roofs? You could, sure. But there's other services to get you in to that, right? If you're doing window cleaning and then upselling to roof cleaning, if you're already doing pressure washing and stuff like that, roof cleaning is phenomenal. The problem is roof cleaning, once you do it once, takes a very long time to get back to bad again. We're talking five plus years, usually. The good thing is, you could put a warranty. We do two-year warranty. If you see any streaks or anything forming within two years, give us a call. It's not going to happen, first off. And if it does, you just go up there, touch it, you're gone. It makes people feel confident. It's okay that they're paying what they're paying. And it's great. Where it comes in to the whole kind of piece is because it's so infrequent, it's like a one-time thing, you're one and done. More than likely, they're not gonna call you back again for like five to 10 years because by the time it gets as bad as it has been, the roof's been up for a while. So it's such a low frequency thing that I don't always think it's a great idea to do just that, even though the hourly is great. The most amount of money I've ever made per hour, man hour, was um, one of our roofs I think it was either $712 an hour or $612 an hour. I can't remember. One of those two. That's what our hourly was on this roof. It was fantastic. It was a walkable, super low pitch, great, awesome, sprawling roof that uh, we did very quickly. And the people were so absolutely stoked. So um, highest amount that I've ever made by far per hour. But again, it's part of those services not to be a jack of all trades, but a sliver of, guess what? We're already here and doing this, we could do this. The closer your services are to what you already do, the more they're like, oh yeah, that's just like you know what they do. That's where you don't get this disconnect where if you do window cleaning, but you also do like, um, you know, uh, auto body, work or something they're so far away that they're like we can't be good at one and then inherently be good at one like and you can't be really good at both because you're not doing either of them all the time you're doing both of them half the time right but when you're talking about something so close to pairing it just makes sense it just makes it so that people feel confident and uh people are just ready to pay for some services if they do anything there's certain things they don't want to do. And they're going to pay somebody else if it's not you. So why not have it be you? Hmm? Anyway, let me take a second. Yes, shameless plug is here. If you didn't know, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com. I am a sales rep. People go, well, why do I want a sales rep? I can order online. You sure can. But it costs you nothing extra to have me. And I can answer questions. And you'll be my favorite person ever. And uh, I can check for fitment, make fitment. I can make sure things work together. You can always ask me questions, pricing, uh, orders, gear, all that stuff. It's like having a dude in your back pocket that knows window cleaning. And I kind of know a little thing or two about window cleaning. So please, please let me be your rep. My number direct, save this, put it in your phone, save it as Jersey. I'm the only Jersey. If you got your phone out, get your phone out now. Ready? Ready? Here it is. It's 704-619-3912. That's my cell. Text me. You can even go in the store. Some people do for like a month. Every day they're kind of adding stuff. Add stuff to your cart. Make sure you're logged in. And then when you're ready, just click in the checkout. Right above the checkout buttons where it says like, you know, all the pay options. Right above that is an underline where it says save this cart. So instead of clicking the pay option, click that one. Text me and be like, yeah, it's in my cart. If I put it in, it costs you nothing extra. But I can make sure I'll hook you up with a free gift. I can make sure everything works together and I get paid. And I would like to get paid. <laughs> Just 
you know, it's it's nice to be able to eat. So thank you to everybody who does that. And also, if you didn't know, I also own the American Window Cleaner Magazine, the greatest magazine in the entire history of the world of window cleaning. And you can be a subscriber to that too. That magazine is a real paper magazine, not like uh, weird, like here's an email, go look at the PDF. A real paper magazine comes to your door automatically. It's only 69 bucks for the entire year, 12 months, and you get the stickers. Every month there is a sticker sheet in the magazine that is window cleaning related awesomeness. The magazine has gone through revamp too. It's a good looking magazine. It's so visually appealing and I love being a nerd. I love um, having pictures and posters of window cleaning really cool things. There's tons of stories, other companies you can learn more than you ever thought possible, go to awcmag.com. It's the American Window Cleaner Magazine. Get a subscription, please. And uh, last side note, quickly, uh, I also have a personal YouTube channel. It's Jersey Nation. Search it, follow me. It's also something you can do for free if you subscribe, and uh, I get social vindication. I feel like I'm doing something. <laughs> okay, so anyway, back to it. That took a little longer than normal, I apologize. Another one that I really like in the world of uh, add-ons that are closely tethered but kind of different is screen repair. Now, screen repair for us, we always did, um, we've tried on-site, but we always liked to bring them back. So you go to a job and say all the screens are bad or they want to get replaced or it's an upsell opportunity. We start charging starting about $30 a screen and go up from there. We'll take the screens back with us. We bring them back to our uh, warehouse or our, our location, if you have one, garage, shed, um, storage unit, wherever you're working out of. And we have a little framing table that we made up. Rip the frames out, respline them, frame them. They're super quick. I could do an entire house in like nothing. And the amount of money is amazing. Plus, you go back, plus, you've taken them down, plus, it's an add-on, plus, you're covered. If you or any of your guys or gals ever rip a screen, you know how to do it. Screen repair is pretty great. That's one of those things for me because I worked in an office. I'm off the truck, which you know I'm a huge proponent of. If you have people, you need to be off the truck to really grow things if you're trying to get big. And for us, we always had them in the warehouse. So it's like every time somebody, you know, our turnaround time was always uh, a week, seven days, we'd be back. And, um, that timing is more than enough because they can bring them back. You can do them that day. But if somebody's like, hey, I'm looking for some extra hours, within those seven days, you got a weekend. If you want somebody to come in in the weekend and do a bunch of screening, you can then still deliver them all in time. It's still within the seven days and you got something else for people to do. So it's really, really a nice add-on. Now, not everybody wants the screens to be redone, of course, even if they're bad. Um, we always offer to take all the screens down and put them into storage if they want to see through the windows, especially in fall. That's a nice one. If they're already down, move them, but you can inspect them. It's a nice add-on. It's not an everything or every one type add-on, but it's really good. Um, and the timing works. That's what I really like. Remember, the reason I like route and commercial and residential is all because they have their place. And that's the same thing with this. It's like you have your place for everything that makes it work. Like you can't really do, if you're in a cold weather area, you can't do roof cleaning in January. Usually you got snow on the roof, right? So you got to find what works in what areas. And speaking of off season and what works, and not really window cleaning, but making phenomenal money is Christmas lights. Now, holiday lighting in general is phenomenal because of everything that you've ever done, which we kind of do. When somebody gets window cleaning, they don't need window cleaning. They don't die if they have, don't have windows that are clean. They're happy, right? But they're just happy. It's something they notice. It's, you know... It wears off. They know they're going to get dirty. With, with holiday lighting and Christmas lights in general, all you're doing is selling happiness. Literally. It sounds so absolutely corny, but the only reason that somebody is going to pay for that is because you're they're bringing other people happiness. And they don't want to do it. And you're going to do amazing 
It's so easy to do. The benefit to Christmas lights, the like really, the, the part that makes Christmas lights phenomenal is that if I go to your house and I do your lights and I charge you X amount, we'll say it's a thousand dollar lighting job, which isn't big, you know, well, that's a lot of people's minimums is in that thousand mark. But if you go in and do that, that's a ridge line and the bushes in front and the walkway, we'll say, whatever it is, or roof line. Um, that stuff that you have in the professional setting, don't go and buy like cheap Walmart lights. Don't. Go and um, go to actual holiday lighting because you're going to cut those and make them specifically for that project. That's why it looks so good. There's no weird cords hanging and bulbs that are not where they're supposed to. That's why. But here's the genius, is the lights are yours. The first year you're charging $1,000, here's what it is. You go in, you take the lights, you design it, you put it together, you get it for them, you take it all down. You put it in a container for itself. This is one, two, three fake streets, lights. They're already done. The next year, you charge the same price. Same price. Because remember, the lights were yours. It's not that their lights and now they pay less because the lights are they're still rented from you basically you're putting them up so that if bulbs burn out you take care of them that's your responsibility and they don't have to store them the benefit is that first thousand dollars paid for the lights paid for your labor gave you a ton of uh profit and that first job took you three times as long because you had to cut all the strands now when you guys took it down they labeled it, simple, top roof line to left, top roof line, whatever it is. They get there the next time, they open it up, all they do is pull it on, go top roof line, cool. Go up there, put it on, go back down. Their job, they get done in a third of the time. You've already paid for the lights. That $1,000 now is like $900 profit for you. And the upsell opportunities there. Now they're telling their friends, right? Oh man, your lights look great. I can't believe you do that. Oh, I got this company. They come over to do it. Now you say, hey, everything's done. Did you like the show last year? Your light show, it was great. Did you, it looked good? Yeah, okay. Did you wanna add anything this year? So every year if you want, you can add a little bit more if you think, hey, I would like this, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we would just add it to that. And again, we store the lights, we cut them custom. They're yours as long as you wanna have service with us. Oh, yeah. You know what? I always thought that front tree would be. What would that front tree? Well, that front tree would be about uh, two hundred fifty dollars. We'll add that on, um, and uh, it's going to look amazing. It's really going to set it off. Perfect. Now you added to that. They could have this show that beats everybody in the neighborhood. People are asking them about it. They're just bringing happiness to kids and grandkids and people in the neighborhood. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's an easy sell. You're selling happiness. The pricing on lights is crazy good. The only downside to all of lights, now, not everybody says yes. Little old lady's like, I just wanna have this window done. Well, our minimum's $1,000. Well, she was hoping it'd be 50 bucks. And I get that, that's every service you do. It's cool, we don't have to be for everybody. But the big thing ends up being is that in holiday lighting, you have to keep the lights. So you have to have some kind of facility to hold bins of lights. This is not a big deal because when everything's done and wound up properly and tagged, they don't take up much room at all, at all. So if you have a little bit of room, you can store it. And the thing is, is that people, the problem that you're, the pain points that you're resolving ends up being storage, set up like ladders. And when I do it, it frustrates me. It doesn't turn out good. It doesn't look good. You do all that. All you have to do is write a check and we can do that. Wow, wow, so great. They're getting more and more saturated. Uh, I don't think that they're ever gonna get to the point where there's no more room for anybody, but they're getting a little bit saturated. You see the signs and all that stuff. But more and more people are having it done. That's why more companies are doing it. Christmas lights are phenomenal, phenomenal. Now, if you get into Christmas lights and then turns into holiday lights or then turns into lighting, that's like commercial installs and things, and that gets into a whole nother piece. But the profits are phenomenal. The pricing, if you're buying your lights from these pro companies in like March, 
you will get them at like 50% off too. And they will last. You can buy spools. It's just phenomenal. If you haven't checked out Christmas lights just as an overall, uh, you should. They're pretty pretty awesome. So anyway, that was my show on add-ons. It all started with the thoughts of snow and kind of went to everything else. I hope that uh, it kind of helps you figure out if or what add-ons you should do. Don't steer too far away. Just because you can make money doing something doesn't mean it would be good for your business. And you know why I hate door knocking is because I'm about business, not about just like the day. So go and do that. Either way, I'm a rep for windowcleaner.com. So what I do, please, please, please let me put your orders in. Take a second out of your time to do that. And it is a genuinely appreciated, it is a thank you um, that I get from you and that I can give and we help each other out. It costs you nothing extra. And it's what I do, big or small, it doesn't matter. 862-312-2026 is my cell. Uh, also, of course, the magazine. The American Window Cleaner magazine is more awesomer than anything you've ever had uh, in regards to window cleaning magazines ever before. It's been around since 1986, but it is currently the best it has ever been in those years. So go and get that awcmag.com. Get a subscription, please, because you know, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jersey Nation, uh, also free. Um, but more importantly, until next week, go out there and hopefully do some add-ons, hopefully make a couple bucks, but more importantly, hopefully be epic.